Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here, and welcome to a brand new map, Death Gameplay, on one of the new maps, Haven. Um, we're basically going to get into this, and we're going to talk you through it, just give you a bit of live comments for it from myself. Um, as you're going to see here, I completely failed that jump there. As I'm coming over there, I get absolutely slapped down, so fair enough. Uh, nice little kill by that player there with the satchel charges, so we'll give him that one. And obviously the player's right here, there you go, I'm shooting him, what the hell, my aim is completely off at the minute. And I actually get taken out from the backside there, so that kill really should have been mine. Uh, this isn't one of my best gameplays, and obviously I'm the target at the minute guys. So I'm marked for death at the minute, I was trying to climb up there and then realised that I couldn't so I'm using this wall to wall glide and being shot at the same time so I'm directly going to the right. Nice little escape route there, you can see I've got pilots all the way around me so I'm not going to bother challenging them all and stuff like that. I know there's a pilot around here and everything so chances are we're going to end up in a confrontation right there, there you are, in the window so we'll take him out. And that is that full soldier who did satchel charge me before. Right, um, uh, recently what I got in my videos as well is I got a lot of hate speech uh, from a particular player who got featured in a video. He basically sent me a rage message and uh, now he's threatening to kick my ass in person and stuff like that. So um, obviously I'm not scared of little pricks like that. <laughs> um, uh, but at the end of the day, if they want to rage, let them rage at the end of the day. Right, so moving back into the gameplay guys, sorry to sort of bore you with that stuff. I just thought it was worth a little shout out and there we go, we take out the next mark target. And you can see I've got my Titan in at the minute. Now I'm the next mark target, I'm getting in my Titan. Unfortunately, I do have quite a few around me. So the good thing about Mark for Death on Haven is if you are in a Titan you can actually use these to your advantage on the outskirts of the map. Not a good sign when I've got an Atlas right behind me and I'm in a Strider so I'm just going to try and get away. Just going to ignore that guy. I'm going to change up my routes there, make it nice and difficult for him and there you go. The map target gets taken out so that's 5-0. Right, and we are moving on. Force to eject. As I'm ejecting here, obviously they want to get revenge on the Goosers and I've just picked up a nuke ejection kill on full solder. You can see two of the Titans around here, they are working together. I'm in a very bad position here so I'm going to get taken out and cleaned up by the quad rocket on their team. Um, let's see if our team can start to work on that mark target. We are on 5-1 to one now. <clears throat> I've got really dry throat. Right, here to have remains and Mr. Cookie are currently marked. So Mr. Cookie's not in the Titans, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make my way over to him, see if I can get across this street without getting killed, as long as I can get through this doorway. There you go, he's my kill. Nice and easy. Ah, oh, he's got in the Titan. Anyway. So he's killing the Titan, we've obviously got Titans that are attacking, I move on to the Rodeo, as I'm Rodeoing it, he actually brings in the smoke, so I'm going to double arc grenade and take down his shields, disorientate his vision, just going to get a little hit there, we've got my Titan coming in, I'm going to jump onto Jedi Minds, bring my Titan in and I'm just going to keep shooting this guy just for the fun of it. Right, now I can get into my Titan, there we go. You can see I've got a lot of things aiming currently at my Titan. Jedi's just been forced to eject. I know there's a Titan around here. There you go, the cluster will take him out. Oh no it doesn't. And I have to get the final shot on him there. He's going to disembark there. Unfortunately I can't see his jetpacks, but I do end up picking up the Urpawn kill. Right, boss monster is quite close to a person called Bitmapper who is in this little building right here. 
You can see he's going to try and escape, and I'm just going to take him out in that little hiding hole. Six to two. Now let me just point out, guys, that um, a lot of people have been saying I can only get me win streaks uh, when we're playing in a full party. Uh, yeah, that's fair enough. Obviously, our party, it's one of those, if we're playing the full party, we're strong. It's like if you get one twig, you're weak. If you get five twigs, you're strong. It's as simple as that. It's just basic science. But anyway, I thought I'd just prove them wrong as well. And that, for example, in this gameplay, it is only three of us. Or is it four of us? One, two, three, four. Four of us. Four man party. So it's not a six man, we are using two randoms from the public as well. As you know with randoms you can get all sorts of players on your team, you can get players that get killed very easy and then you can get players that absolutely own the game and stuff like that. But this is solely just bringing out a lot of videos that are going to prove that theory wrong, that I don't just simply play in a six man party all the time and that's it, doom, jobs are good. Been getting a lot of support, a lot of subscribers recently, guys. I do appreciate it. Although we am commentating like 18 videos and putting them on schedules for you now, because if they upload them all at once, I'm just gonna completely overload you with gameplays, and I don't want to do that because chances are you'll get bored of watching. Um, I'd rather do it so you've got actually got the time to watch the videos and just have a bit of fun with them. Right, so I'm the mark target, I've got my full shields up, you can see this titan attacking me right now. And I've got a rodeo on me, that's forced me to bring in the smoke, I'm just moving back, I'm going to place the cluster there. I've got another titan to the right hand side of me, who's completely attacking me, Jedi's just moved on to him. I'm just going to punch him, punch again, and no one's going to have to eject. As I'm ejecting, can he get revenge? No, he doesn't do some it. I'm just going to use that charge rifle, boom, take his health down, see if we can get the charge rifle gooser on this one, no, nope, unfortunate. Now we know exactly where he's landing, or where or whereabouts he's landing, there he is, and I believe I do actually get taken out because I was forced to reload, and that's it, like, comment, subscribe, peace out.